Nice. All right, getting our boots on, getting ready to ride up the river. This is not traditional biking footwear or pants, but not everything we do is traditional here in Alaska. Hi, this is Mark and Hunter with the Alaska Boys, and today I'm taking my son and we're going fly fishing for sockeye salmon and rainbow trout. We are doing a bike and fishing adventure. So we are not the only ones gonna be on the river. There are, I usually see brown bears, black bears along here. So we're gonna get my brother-in-law and his daughter, and then we're gonna head out. Jossie, you ready? Yes. You ready to catch a big salmon? Hopefully. Here are our contestants, gladiator number one. Gladiator number two. <laughs> gladiator number three. All right. <laughs> We got Mr. Showboat. So one of the reasons we use the bikes is just to get away from the crowd. So even here in Alaska, there can be a lot of people when the salmon are running, and especially in some of the hot spots. So one of the ways to get away is either you hike or you bike and just try and separate yourself a little bit from the crowd. We're off the road and on the trail. We got about a mile and a half to go here. It's slowly up hills. We're climbing up into the canyon area. Hmm. All right, we're about a mile or so down, getting close. Feel the excitement building as we're getting up there. I, uh, I used to come here all the time before I had kids and when I was in college. So it's pretty fun being able to take Hunter here. We have gotten down to the walking trail where we got to get down to the canyon and we're going to lock up these bikes to protect them from two-legged predators. Make sure no one steals them while we're down, down fishing. Yeah. Need a hand? Oh, I got it. How are you feeling about your first red salmon fishing trip down to the Russian? Uh, <laughs> Over, hot and uh, sweaty. Hot. We got to get you in the water, cool yeah. you off. All right, from here, Jossie, it just drops down. It kind of drops down into the canyon, and it's only, I think, like 200 yards. We'll be down to the river, and we can start. See, hopefully, it'll be fish. Did you know, Jocelyn, that this is where I took Lauren on our first date? Really? Yep, our first date, I brought her... I said, hey, you want to go fishing? And we came here and we fished the Russian River. So I got history here with her. So we are walking down through kind of a natural little cut here that goes right down to the river. This is, I mean, there's rocks all over on either side. It's pretty sweet. And uh, down to the bottom is where the canyon flows through for the river. And we're, we are hoping that there's some sockeye salmon stacked up in there. Sometimes it's all about timing. And uh, if you get at the right time, I mean, there'll be thousands of fish coming through. We made it. Here we are, such a beautiful river. I'm wearing these polarized glasses. It can help look through the glare and, and hopefully we'll be able to sight some fish in here pretty soon. Hunter, mom caught a massive rainbow trout right in here when we were dating. Now that we got to the river, it's time to get our fly rod set up and get rigged up, see if we can find anything. Man, this rod brings back memories. I got this rod the summer that my wife and I met and used it to catch a lot of salmon over the last 16 years. I don't know if you can see, Shh, it's okay. There's a brown bear down there right where my finger's pointing. Um, we're just here and that bear has just pulled the salmon out of the river and he is eating that salmon. Okay guys, just stand your ground. We gotta make sure, we gotta make sure that we have all our gear. If we need to move, we gotta pick up our backpacks. We can't leave it and our stuff. So don't leave stuff on the bank, okay? Careful there, Hunter. Look at that bear. Man, I wish I had a zoom. Oh yeah, he's, look at it. He's going across the river. He's eating a salmon. He went across the river and, and disappeared into the woods. All right, we are all set up. We got two fly rods. We are using a, what they call a Russian river fly or a sockeye fly. Got fly rail. And that bear that we saw just went right back in the woods. It's amazing. Just instantly they're gone. And you know, so you have to know those bears are around. You just don't know where they are and always gotta be careful. Okay, do you guys see me fish? Yeah, they're probably hanging behind this stuff. I just started casting here and I didn't get a fish, but I hooked into a couple lures and some weights. And what a mess. We are on the hunt for fish. We are trying to look down in the water to see where the salmon are. Have not found any yet. Well, we've been searching high and low. We are just not seeing any salmon. And this is a spot in the river where the salmon are either there or they're not. They're passing through on their way up to higher areas to spawn or they're not here. And we're just not seeing them. But we are seeing trout. 
And so we're gonna switch over, get Hunter set up with some trout fishing gear and see if we can catch some fish. For trout, we can use different things. This is called a steak and eggs fly. It's got little beads that look like salmon eggs and a chunk of flesh. Um, these are called flesh flies. They just look like a piece of dead salmon. And here, why don't you try with this? You remember how to use a strike indicator? Uh, wash until it goes under. Yeah, but you got to try and keep it from yeah, uh, dragging. Here, hook that. All right, we got the line out. All right, so the key is you got your fly there, and you're trying to let it just. If that thing goes underwater, you got to hit. So I'm gonna cast it back up. You don't need to do big wide, like, you know, you just, then I put the fly line above it so that it's not dragging in the water, just like that. And then you just try different zones. You try close, you try far. It's kind of fast right where we are. I think over, you and I, if we wade over or we go down a bit, that might be good stuff. Huh? Okay, don't fall. Okay, stand below me where there's not as much current. Is that better? Yeah. So from here, we can, from here I can cast up and then we can fish into that area where it's yeah. not as much current and it's slower. And then see how I mend that line like that? Mm -hmm. We're waiting for something to take it. And then you just kind of let it swing through at the end. You could try your flesh fly over there too. Let's actually take another step over. Come with me. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to cast this up like that. And we're just going to let this. All right, you want to try with your flesh or you want to try with this? Can I try that one? Here. That's good. Now lift that line up, lift it up so it's not dragging. And then lay it back down now. All right, we got a fish. Hunter, I got a fish. Oh, it got off. Little rainbow there. Tiny little dude. All right, Hunter has spied a red salmon out there. He's gonna take a few casts. His cousin's been trying to get it. Lots he, of, there's lots of hooks around here. He keeps collecting all these hooks. How many hooks do you have now? Maybe 10 or something? Yeah, just finding them. He's been finding them on uh, river or on, on trees and in the bushes. Here's another one right here. Look at that right up there. Yeah. So what does that mean? There's tons of fishing hooks here and no fish. No fish. No you got one? Yeah. All right, Hunter. All right, you switched over to little trout action. <laughs> I see that dark thing. Yeah, for sure. I think it may be a fish. I think you're kind of okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right by its nose. All right, this is exciting. We've been here for a bunch of hours and finally we're starting to see fish moving through and uh, Hunter trying to target them and, and, and cast in front of them. Oh, looks like Reggie's got one. Or is that a trout? I think he's got a trout. Senna, uh, Jocelyn, get the net. Get the net to help your dad. Hunter, there's one right out. Okay, Hunter, I see a fish out here. Can I fish for it? I was wrong, Hunter. I thought that was just a rock because you just kept going over it and over it. Oh, no. We're caught. Is that some down here coming up, Hunter? Hunter, I see some. They're coming up. There's like four or five. There's a bunch right there. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep. I would I would cast down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get out further. They're, they're down there, Hunter. Oh, yeah, right in there. There's one, I think. Right there. Like, come out to this rock. Even though the fishing is slow, this brings back a lot of memories. Taking Hunter here, watching him fish, struggling to catch fish. I mean, so many weekends I'd come down here before I had kids fishing every weekend. And uh, sometimes we get fish, sometimes we didn't, but it was always an adventure. It's fun to, to see that happening for him. And a lot of times people have asked me, how do you get your kids to go fishing or what do you do? And, you know the answer, I just take them. I've been taking them since they were little and helped them learn different skills. And now Hunter's 12 and he can rig up his rod, tie it on, pretty much do everything on his own with just a little bit of assistance. So 
got to just stick at it, you know, keep at it and keep just trying to make it fun. Make sure they have food to eat, They're not getting too tired and just keep it fun. All right, Hunter finally has a sockeye on. Hunter, you're going to have to fight it carefully. Now we got to figure out how to land this beast in this uh, fast water. I may need to come get that net. Hunter, try to stay back over here. If you could get up on the shore there. Makes it exciting. All right, are you able to step back up a little further, Hunter? We'll see if we can grab this guy. All right, see if you can get it up here in this alcove. Yeah. Oh, nice fish, man. Yeah. That is nice. Mm. Good fish. Yeah. Keep this fish cool. I'm gonna stick it on a stringer here. We're gonna keep it in the water, keep it close to us. And uh all right. We'll cut the Should gills. We bleed it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll bleed, bleed it. it, cut the gills, and uh for uh, good meat quality. And all right, that's gonna be great. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's exciting to get one fish. And I'm gonna cut the gills right here. Make sure to get the blood out of the meat. And that way, it'll be nice clean filet when we get back. Oh, it got off. Oh. Yeah, it popped off. You like almost, you almost got to your back. Maybe. You almost got to your back. Yeah, I know. I was gonna have to start running after it. Did it get off? What did it just cut? All right, at least we got two. Hunter's got one. I had, I hooked into one. These are tricky fish, man. They take off, they turn in the current. It's sayonara. Like a freight train. It's like a freight train. It's hard to stop them. Nice, what do you got, Hunter? Got a rainbow trout. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's a lot better than ours. That's a really nice rainbow, bud. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. Oh, catch and release. Bye-bye. Nice. Hey, I saw it, and we got it on film. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Meanwhile, I am over here doing a little bit of work on our salmon here, just cleaning it out. I'm going to gut it and uh, let the wa cool water start running through the, in the inside of it, so just keeping that meat fresh. Pull the eggs out, pull out the rest of the guts, put that cold water in there. You see him right there. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna stay here. Go for it. Yes, yes, I see it. Right there, it's got a scar on it. Try it even without the. Yes, yes, right there. Almost. Are you a little short? Oh yeah, yeah, nice. You were right next to it. It's got that scar you can see. Or you need to step back or something. You, you, you got, you're too close, you're not getting the right angle. Oh, you spooked it, I think, right by space. Okay, now, now, oh, that was, okay. Take a few steps. There's one right out here, Reggie, come on. Out, 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 it's moving up to the right. Can you see it at all? By that white rock. Ah, I think we lost our chance on it. It's gone, I think. It's gone. There he stands, waiting for the fish to come by. My faithful fisherman's son. So the salmon fishing, a lot of it's really about timing. The, the fish are not here all the time, and when they're here, they only pass through for a short amount of time, a week, two weeks. And if you can get that timing right, it can just be magical. Otherwise, it can be kind of like today. There's just a few fish here or there, and you got to really work for it. And sitting here, I can smell rotten fish flesh. So probably this little path we're at at night, bears come out here and, and bring fish up into the, into the brush. I can kind of smell it. I don't see any, but I can smell it.
not. Oh, snag. Hey, Dad's got a fish. Looks like a, it looks like fair play too. Nice one. He did not like that. Come back here, dude. Oh, got him. Don't get below it. Don't get below it. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome. It has a beat in it. <laughs> it has somebody snagged it. Oh, man. Ah. Holy smokes, what a fighter. I hooked this guy right in the mouth here. But this guy, he came up. I'm like, what is going on? We've got uh, someone else has a bead hooked on this guy. What? And in the tail, look at this. There's another fly. Dang. So I'm the lucky guy. Three other, two other people have hooked into this fish. Two or more. Two or more. And, uh, this is gonna come home with us for dinner. This is awesome. Yep. And let's try again. The hunter's got a flesh fly on. It looks like a piece of you know dead salmon. And these trout are matching the hatch. They're eating these the dead salmon, the chunks of the carcasses and other stuff floating down. So that's what he's casting out and getting these bites on. Here, let's just take a few steps down and try some more down here. Okay. All right, we've been trout fishing for a few minutes. Time for some salmon to show up and give us some more action. All right, Hunter. Hey. hey. Nice. Hey, buddy. All right, so we have been at this almost all day. We left the house at 8 a.m. Oh wow, Hunter's got a, a trout right there. Awesome. Uh, we started fishing about uh, 10, 15. We parked the car, so it's four. Uh, we'll see how much longer we last, but we're still having fun. Hunter's catching fish, waiting for some more salmon to come through. So it'd be nice if we could get a couple more. Oh, nice trout, bud. Hey, should we order a pizza? Think they deliver it? No. Oh, got off? No. Big one. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I would just get my rod down so I could come help you. All right, Hunter has been using a little micro flesh uh, fly and he's ready to change it out to the steak and eggs. It's a big one. He keeps losing uh, big trout and they only been able to catch these little ones. So we're gonna try a bigger hook and see if that helps. I just lost a big one and it's so maddening when you lose a big one. All right, Hunter, look down here. This is, let's try one of these steak and egg ones that here. That looks good. Let's try this one. There seems to be a lot of carcasses floating down. I'm not sure why. There's probably just a lot of people catching fish above us. Yeah, a lot of people who catch their fish here, they'll they'll fillet it and clean it and just take the meat home. So this is going to represent a piece of that, that flesh. So okay. dinner time. Okay, so like for comparison, this is someone's carcass that they left. And I think they left a ton of meat on there. It's pretty yeah, disgusting. Like uh, but that's what the fish are eating. And we're going to see if they can we'll eat this. You might need another weight. We'll see. Cast it up and let it dead drift down. Dinner time for the trout. Steak and eggs for dinner. There you go. Let it sink down there. It's too high up. You have too much tension, Hunter. Yeah, as soon as you casted it, you needed to let it sink deeper, I think. Don't catch a seagull. Whew. All right, it is getting to be time to head home. So I am gonna start cleaning these fish and getting them ready to transport. Don't forget, we gotta hike these down the river back up to our bicycles, and then ride about a mile and a half out to the car. So, not a bad stringer for an afternoon and a day out with my son. Awesome. And uh, like I said, you know, so some people, they like to clean these fish right on the river and totally fillet them. I feel like I do a lot better job at home. So instead of fully filleting them, and also I, I feel like people waste a lot of meat unless you're doing it at home and doing it right. So what I do is we're gonna cut the tails off, the head off, and, uh, do all the flaying at home. Man, these are awesome fish. Look at that. So nice. So nice. So they say that these fish to get to this point is about five to eight days from the saltwater to get up to here. Now they have about another 15 plus miles to go. They have to jump over a series of barrier falls. I mean, these are hardy fish. So we're intercepting them on their way to their spawning ground.
All right, there you go. We got a cleaned, headed, gutted, tailed fish. We're gonna stick it in the bag, play it at home. All right, do that one more time. All right, into the bag with fish number two, and then into the bottom of the backpack. All right, time to pack up. Fish down on the bottom there. I guess I got an extra bag. I might as well double bag it. Nobody likes to have fishy smelling backpacks. Especially when it's your wife's backpack. All right, hard to say good no, but time to put the rods away. Well, we saw a bear, we caught fish. We're gonna risk our lives crossing a raging stream. This is how dads get their sons to hold hands with them. Cross a raging river. But I also have Hunter on the downward side, so I'm breaking most of the current here. And it's easier for him. He would probably get swept away if I wasn't here. We're helping each other out. That might be why everybody doesn't cross. That was tricky. Well, even though the salmon were not quite as hot as they are, sometimes we had a good time. This was awesome being able to share this river with Hunter, let him see some of the places I fished when I was in college and when I was dating my wife. It was good stuff. Not caught on camera, I just fell in the water trying to get my son's line and I went over the top, water's down, now I'm sloshing around like a bathtub down in these waders. That must be love, I guess, helping your son. Ah. Oh, one thing about these waders, they're made to keep you dry, but then they also keep you wet. <laughs> so now I got, I was worried about being a little bit hot, not anymore. Now I got a little water sauna action on my legs. This, we've got to the spot we're going to climb back up out of the river back to our bikes and say goodbye. A lot of memories here on this river. It's been fun to share it with Hunter today. Now we got to climb up to the top. Back to the bikes. Nobody stole my bike. And we're off. Good thing about this is pretty much it's all coasting downhill on the way back. Open it up, get the fish on ice. We made it all the way back home. We are hungry. We have one of these sockeye salmon right here. We're gonna fillet it up. I got the grill preheating behind us. We're gonna slap it on the grill and looking forward to it. So you may have remembered is that when we were at the river, we cut the head and the tail off and gutted it. And then uh, I like to do that for a number of reasons. This one, we had to bring it back quite a ways. And then I fillet it here at home. It's hard to keep it clean and nice when you're on the side of the riverbank, so. And I think also evidenced by the fact that it's hard to do a good job on the river is, you know, most of the carcasses we find on the river are just so wasteful. It makes me sick to my stomach how much they left. I mean, yeah, the birds and the, and the eagles and the bears are eating it, but that's not the reason why. They can get enough on their own. Mmm, that is so good. One of the reasons we love sockeye salmon is people like it's just such bright red meat. So good. Mmm. Get that cut right there in the fin. There we go. Peel that back. Look at that. Boom. Ready to go on the grill.
I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on this, just a hair. Sorry, this is not olive oil, this is avocado oil. Just gonna rub that in a little bit on it. All right, we're gonna take this rub, called Rub With Love. It's got uh, brown sugar, salt, some pepper in it. I'm gonna take this, and we are going to just liberally rub it here into the flesh of the salmon. Here we go, so I got that, just kind of rubbing it down in. Do that a couple times, coat everything good, and then we're gonna just stick this right skin side down onto the grill. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna leave that on the grill, let it cook for about 15 minutes. While I'm waiting for that salmon to cook, I'm just gonna fillet the rest of this salmon and the other one. And you know, I think people get intimidated by cooking fish. Really, when you have good fresh fish to work with, salmon, halibut, cod, these other things, it doesn't take much to make it taste good. I don't think there's any reason to get intimidated. There we go. We got another nice filet. Let's check this fish, see how it's doing. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Uh, it's it's not quite done. We're gonna give it another couple more minutes. All right, let's get the sake off there. Oh, this looks so good. Mm. You wanna try some, hon? I'd love to. It is almost 10 o'clock at night. We went fishing all day long. It's still light out, but that's how it is in the summer. We just go, 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 go. And now we're gonna have a our evening meal out here on the deck. I got a fork for you, hon, let's dig in. All right, so there'll be bones right down there, but the rest of this, no bones. Oh, it's so good. Nothing beats fresh from the river salmon. Mm. Oh. It's so good. About four hours ago and 150 miles ago, <laughs> this thing was swimming in the river. Forget how good the fresh stuff is when you've been eating it frozen yeah. all year. And then you taste it and you're like, oh yeah. Turned out really good. Thanks for catching it. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure where I took Hunter to learn how to catch a sockeye salmon. Stick around for all the other great videos we do and we will catch you in the next adventure. Like and subscribe. Seriously gonna eat like half of a whole salmon right here. <laughs> okay, if I can open this up. What is going on?